So since we're having Spanish food today, it would be great to pair with the Spanish wine. The most famous winemaking region of Spain is probably Rioja, which is in the north of Spain, just south of the Basque Country, just south of San Sebastian and Bilbao. Rioja is known for making wines with the grape Tempranillo. There are three sub-regions of, uh, of Rioja. There's Rioja Alta, Rioja Baja, and Rioja Alavesa. It doesn't really matter. The differences are so small that it doesn't actually matter. But the wine is really delicious. This is a wine that's wrapped in tissue paper. That's how you know it's really fancy. It's like unwrapping a present every time. This is a Reserva wine. So there are three main classifications of wine in Rioja. There's Crianza, Reserva, and Gran Reserva. So Gran Reservas are only made in exceptional years. They're usually the longest. The Reservas are made in really good years, and they're aged middle. And then the Crianzas are the youngest wines. They're only aged for like a year in oak bottle. Um, 2001, which is when this wine is from, it was a phenomenal year for Rioja, and I have a couple of these bottles, here, so I figured tonight would be as good a night as any to drink one. Pro tip, you don't actually have to cut this little paper thing off the top, you just rip it off with your hands. This wine, Bodegas Palacio Especial, 2001, so it's 2017 right now, so that's a 16-year-old wine, so this wine just got its driver's license. Um, and it should be tasting really good. It should have some, still some fruit flavors and acidity to it, but it should also have some of those like developing leathery, um, smoky kind of flavors that are really also super typical of real wines. The cork broke. It doesn't mean it's a bad wine. It doesn't mean the battle's corked. It just means that I need to work harder at opening the bottle of wine. You suck. Not nice. Smell this. <laughs> That's gross. So, like, you can see the color. I don't know if you can see the color super well, but it's kind of brickish. It's not super red. It's not super purple. It's an older wine. And it smells great. It smells like black fruits, kind of ripe fruit. A little bit of, like, leathery, brown leather kind of flavor. It's gonna go great with our San Morejo. Go cook.